Hello everyone, this is Dowel20 and welcome to episode 18 of Dowel20's Let's Play series where I'm making chicken sandwiches. Boom. Hey, not too shabby. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the last couple episodes I've been farming up uh, cabbage and carrots. Uh, these guys right down here. So cabbage and uh, carrots. Because I've been, I've been looking for like a better food source and I liked the look of this. So here's something cool, is there's basically chicken and chicken cuts. Now cooked chicken cuts just take a piece of chicken, raw chicken, and a knife on a cutting board and you'll get two raw chicken cuts. So I did that between episodes uh, and made a bunch of chicken cuts and as you can see, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so that with the cabbage and the carrots makes for a pretty decent meal, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, you can use them for some other things too, I think. There's like, uh, another big recipe ingredient is onions, which I don't, I don't think I've gotten yet. Uh, I could get from a villager trader, uh, somewhere. D -d 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 this guy can trade me wild onions. Um, but I'm not quite needing to do that. So, hey, decent meal like that. Pretty cool. Happy, happy. Uh, also, between episodes, I finished making my blast bricks. So these are done and ready to uh, to stand up here. And I'm going to do that now. Boom. Look at that. Blast oven. Uh, so let's see. What can I do with my uh, blast oven? A... So Blast Furnace can turn uh, blocks of iron into steel blocks in 300 seconds, uh, which is about five minutes. Uh, or 20 seconds to do individuals, right? Um, isn't that, like, way slower? Am I wrong, or is that way slower? Isn't it way slower to do blocks? Shouldn't it be 180 seconds? Because times nine, so 180 seconds versus, yeah, feels... Feels slower. Uh, and blast furnace fuel, you can either use um, charcoal, which doesn't last very long, or cold coke, which lasts pretty okay. Um, yeah. So between episodes, obviously, we've been getting lots of cold coke. Uh, I've been I've been cooking up my my fuel. Uh, actually, our creosote oil is doing pretty well too. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Have any extra dirt here? I wouldn't mind. I hear you guys. I do. Very nice. Uh, so let's get uh, let's get some let's get some cold coke going, huh? And some steel. So do we have iron? I think we have iron. Uh, I'm gonna go with like I don't know how much of this we're gonna need. So I'm gonna just start with 16, right? And 20 seconds should be pretty cool. Uh, and then obviously more cold coke is on its way. Uh, and I could use charcoal. It just would be a lot more effort to do. So uh, we should be good on steel now. We'll see what kind of quest reward we get for steel in about five seconds or less, if there is one. Hooray! And we got slag, too, which I think can be used for something cool. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. But hey, we've got steel, uh, which unlocks our chapter here. And that leads to a reward of cold coke and iron, which is nice. Cool and cool. And we'll put this away, too. And I'll finish eating some of my less exciting food. Don't need it clogging up my inventory. Trying to be conservative with that stuff. So that is one step closer to having a mana pool, right? And that's really what's going to unlock the next big chapter for us. Um, a bunch of source. I'm assuming that's an entire source jar, maybe. I think that is. I think a thousand source was 10%, right? So that's a full jar of source plus one of each type of thing, plus a few other resources. Now is the time for us to start working towards this thing. Um, so let's let's talk about that real quick. But before we do, I just want to see, like, is there anything particularly exciting I can get with my steel ingots? Probably. I'm sure there's some things that we can get. Like, there's steel tools and, you know, other things. I don't know precisely if there's anything in particular that is exciting. Looks like we're going to need it for drenched steel ingots at some point. I don't know... How soon? But let's go. Uh, let's go look at our quests and find out what the next path is for me to follow, which is this guy. So we're going to want white rock, which is needed to get into elemental craft and other magics. You'll need to create a few in the enchanting apparatus, but once you have enough to make your petal apothecary, you'll find it much easier method using pure daisies. So uh, the petal apothecary 
can turn clay into white rocks. And clay is not a hard thing to get, right? Like we can totally sift our way. So we can wash sand and we'll have a 25% chance to get clay. Um, or we can just sieve um, any sand and water and we have a 60% chance. So not a big deal, right? Uh, we can easily accomplish lots of clay with this. Um, so let's look at how we get it in the enchanting apparatus. Um, so just to be curious, the pure daisy itself, I'm sure is something we need. So we need to get the petal apothecary first, and that's what we need white rock for. So in order to make our petal apothecary from Batania, we need white rock, which we can make in the enchanting apparatus, a like a so. So we're going to need in total five of these, but once we have the five, then we're good, right? So let's not, let's not get too worried about that. Um... So Petal Apothecary, so we're going to need Enriched Peat, not a problem, Soul Powder, not a problem, Earth Essence, not a problem, and Blocks of Coal. So we're gonna need five of each of these, right? Because this is a um, this is an enchanting apparatus, so it will consume these. Cool? So let's see, you. We're getting low on coal, but that's okay, because again, coal is just something that we can uh, sieve our way from andesite. Yeah, 30% chance on the andesite mesh, not terrible. We should we should be able to get plenty of coal, no problem. Because uh, we have basically like infinite gravel right now. Uh, so that's done, blocks of coal. Earth essence, uh, if I just got a uh, raw, uh, I think I'll just take the five here that we need. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, we can do one, two, three and then the other two in a minute and again if i put source jars nearby this it would speed this up but i don't like if i don't need to use a resource that's not like easy to get a ton of not that it's not that it's hard to get a ton of but like it's not easy to get a ton of either uh i don't want to uh soul powder do we have any laying around it's easy to get i know that much um it's just uh glowstone in the spirit fire One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's right, you get uh you get twice as much. I forgot. Okay. So that's call and that done. Enriched peat. If we don't have any there, I bet we have some in here. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, so that's actually easy peasy. And then in the center, we're going to need source gems. Also easy peasy. Okay. You guys getting there? 75% complete. So you're going to sit uh, here. Here here and then source gems go in the middle once i have you guys done which is going to be like five seconds sweet sweet and uh they don't have to be put in any particular spot as long as they're somewhere cool and that's going to create or that's going to cost a thousand source so we've got enough we're good right Ding. Cool. All right, then one, two, three, four, and go. That's a second white rock. And meanwhile, you guys are cooking your third of the way there already. Sweet, I'll come back when these two are done. Ooh, I got a reward. Slowpoke's compressed balance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. Good old Slowpoke. I wonder if that, like, didn't stack. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. I'll leave it. As a memento. Alright, so that'll be five white rocks, which should be good for a petal apothecary. Uh, we will need some water essence in the middle, though, and that's just going to be... Um, a water shard. We really only have one of those? Uh, that might be a problem. How do we get more of that? Uh, killing what? Axolotls, cod, dolphins, drowned, glow squid, polar bear, pufferfish, salmon, 
slimes, squids, strays, and tropical fish. So basically like any fish would get me these. Um, hmm. At a, at a decent rate. Is there any way to like spawn slimes or something? I don't know. Slime predictions. Yeah, that might be that might be a challenge, actually. Uh, so I'll get this crafted and then I'm gonna do a little bit more research. I think we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, Petal Apothecary. Woot! Uh, and that's going to be a whole new magical realm for us. So let's get some dirt and build out a new platform. I'll expand here. So like if this is my Ars Nouveau platform, it makes sense. And like over there is that one, like over here can be Batania land, right? Um, I should probably get two stacks of dirt because that's generally what I need. And then my builder's wand, where are you? There you are. Cool. And as usual, so this is like my standard size island in nine by nine, right? So one, two, three, I'll build this out and be right back. All right, Batania Island, woot. Uh, so we'll stick our petal apothecary kind of like right here-ish. We probably wouldn't mind some kind of infinite water source. Um, are sinks a thing in this pack? I've never even tried a uh, sink. There is a sink. Pretty straightforward to be honest with you. A little terracotta going on. I could, I could make that happen pretty straightforward. And then I wouldn't need um, like a big messy multi-blocky thingy. Yeah, let's do that actually. Uh, you come with me, play, we're just going to need that. How are we for iron plates? We're actually good. I just need to let you run for a sec, let you smelt. And that's easy peasy, right? Beautiful. Quest completed or swim. What? What? Booties and farmers. Oh yeah, look all the things I did. See, I told you I made those. The sink will provide water to the cooking table. You can also extract water with pipes at an extreme rate. Can't you click on it though? Ooh, laser IO. Bucket of axolotl. Hey, speaking of uh, axolotls and needing them. Uh, can't I do this? Empty, that's weird. Well, that's not fun. Looks like I am gonna have to get a uh, two by two of water over here. No big deal. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. And then we just need some seeds and some white mystical petals. Boom. Empty hand, boom, sweet. So that will sit, let's do it here and here, okay? And let's see what kind of pure daisy recipes exist. Because if, if white rock is easier here, I got to imagine that there's some other nice things. So source gems turn into inert crystal blocks from elemental craft. I assume that that's in our immediate future. White rock turns into living rock. Um, and... We can get blue ice, we can get cobblestone from netherrack, not that I see any reason I'd ever do that. Cobbled deep slate from endstone, meh. Uh, living wood logs, standard recipe. We can get obsidian from blaze message, maybe-ish. I feel like there's a better way to get obsidian than that. 
Uh, soul sand can turn into sand, water can turn into snow, and then clay turns into living rock. Okay, cool. So if we did um, confirm for me living wood, is it any? I feel like it's any, right? It's got to be any, right? And then we need clay. We're going to need more clay than we currently have, but that's okay. Let's use Slowpoke's compressed balance. And that'll be the start of what we need to do. Okay. So next quest, by the way, I'll hand in all that stuff in a minute, uh, would be pure daisy. You want me to get inert crystal blocks. Okay. Well, that answers that. So to get those, we're going to need source gem blocks, uh, which we can put amethyst in the imbuement chamber to get. Um, but realistically, we should just do it the slow way, which is one of these. So I'm going to get some lapis. I might get some more imbuement chambers just to speed this up. I don't think there's any like automation or piping that we can do just yet. Unless, I'm, I mean, there might be. I haven't really looked, but we'll see. Hey, there we go. Sweet living wood logs. And I don't know for sure, but I assume most of um, these are all exactly a minute. I don't know if there's a way to change that, but I would assume it's one minute per craft, right? Sweet. All right. So let me, uh, how hard was it to get imbuement chambers? Not bad. We just need some more gold plates. How about four more imbuement chambers? Does that sound cool? I'm going to need you back. I don't think I need that whole setup anymore, but I guess we'll find out. Perfect. Do your thing. Yeah, I think we have plenty of arc wood logs, right? Yeah, we should be fine on that. You can go away, you can go away. For now. Boom. Perfect. You know what I'll do while I'm here? I'm going to turn you off. And I'm going to get myself more clay, which was waterlogged sand. Is that correct? Waterlogged sand for clay? Yes. Waterlogged sand with a andesite or string mesh for that matter. Technically, I could do string and get less junk, but... Uh, doesn't hurt to have extra junk, right? So one, two, three, four. Steal you, steal you, put you there and go. And that works. Beautiful. Uh, I'll come back once I get a sufficient amount of these guys converted. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, cooking up some source gem blocks to turn into inert crystal blocks, uh, which is going to be, I assume, getting me into elemental craft. Super cool. Back in one full minute. All right, inert crystal blocks. Quest complete, pure daisy. Nice. Okay, and as you can see, I'm setting up another batch of white rocks, which I could just leave alone and they would turn into uh, living wood, but or living rock, but we'll see. Uh, so you, make an elemental evaporator, are grayed out. So what is a prerequisite quest for you, elemental evaporator? Let's see. So prerequisites are contained crystal. Aha, elemental craft has its own chapter. So I assume we do this and then that, and that's cool. And then we get our um, dude here. Now you want me to get a contained crystal, which should be straightforward enough. So we've played Elemental Craft before. I kind of remember-ish how it works, uh, but we'll absolutely be playing with it a little bit to, like, refresh our memories. That was the last time I played it, the last time we did the Skyblock pack. I think that's an accurate assessment. 
Oh, hey, look, there's all kinds of fish happening in this little pond. That's uh, that's a thing that's happening, I guess. I don't know if it's because of the proximity to this guy or what. I don't have a solid answer for why that's the case. I wish you could fish up some water thingies for me. Uh, also, did I leave you guys on? I did. I should turn that off. I sifted up a bunch of clay. So you're good. How are you guys at 64%? Not bad. All right. Elemental craft time. And that might require another island. We'll find out pretty soon. Um, elemental craft. So uh, the next thing to make is contained crystals. By making the contained crystal, you can enhance its conductivity and make it more receptive to elemental energies. Okay. So we're going to need gold. And then that. Cool. That's a good start. And I don't know how many of these crystals I'm going to need, so I'm just getting a bunch of source gems real quick, too. Okay. And let's store all this experience we've been collecting. I'm going to have a decent chunk of experience when the time to need it comes. Elemental Evaporator. Uh, elemental energy needs to be captured to be used. Place an elemental evaporator directly on an elemental container and then insert elemental shards. The evaporator will be in collecting the energy and storing it in the container. Yeah, I kind of remember this. Okay, so you're going to be that. So you also need to be this. We're going to need some more iron plates. We'll start with 16 and see if that's enough. You're gummed up because you're on. There you go. I'm trying to remember if there's like a there's a there's there's like elemental nodes that you can use to get stuff too. I wonder if I'm gonna get like given those as a reward or something. We'll find out. Okay, so we've got our elemental pipes. Now we need an elemental container. And then we need our element evaporator. Cool. We get pipes as a reward and we get more pipes as a reward and then we get another container as a reward. Cool. I think we definitely are going to want an island for this. We should probably build one out here. Maybe off in this direction. Does that sound cool? Okay, Elemental Craft Island, let's rock. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could totally expand out uh, a walkway here. Beautiful. Okay. You, you, and honestly, I don't need that dirt. Sweet. All right, uh, so that is a way to like use elemental shards to get elemental energy, if I remember correctly. Let's 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 flip through the book real quick just to like refresh our memory of the basics. So inert crystal done, contained crystal done. Nothing specific about that. Raw elemental shards, we know where they come from. Okay, so that's cool. Sources, elemental sources are naturally occurring spots where elements converge. We have to explore a bit to find some. So the question is, do they exist in the overworld? I don't know. Um, I honestly don't. I haven't seen any yet. That doesn't mean they don't exist. I haven't looked down like at low Y level. Like I haven't really tried to find them, right? That's just, but I also haven't stumbled upon any either, which makes me question if they exist. Um, 
I feel like chances are I should have stumbled upon them by now. Uh, and if I haven't, that means they probably don't. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe like sometimes things don't spawn because there's no terrain from the spawn on. So there might be a bunch like near Y level zero. I don't know. We'll find out. Instruments are the main crafting tools. Uh, they consume elements and are required to be on top of a container. So there's the small element container. This is basically like the thing that holds elemental stuff. Um, and then there's the element extractor, which we could draw out of sources. Um, but we don't have sources, so that's a problem. Uh, elemental infuser. Um, that is crafting, right? Um, I believe. Uh, didn't I make an infuser? Or is that the next thing I had to make? We made the evaporator. Yeah, the infuser is the next thing to make. And that allows us to like infuse elements into things and craft. So like it's a, you put the infuser on top of a container and then you can turn like amethyst into springaline shards, for example. Um, so that's cool. So let's get one of those too. I thought I added you to the to-do list, but I didn't. Perfect, easy peasy. Okay, and there's another infuser. Uh, elemental crystals will get me some raw rewards if I get any one of these. Um, elemental crystals can be tossed with right click and have a chance to be broken into their respective elemental shards. One crystal take a thousand units of element. Shard gives 250 units of powerful. Shard gives 2,500. Different types of enemies will drop different shard types depending on the type of creature. You also get a chance for powerful shards to drop if they are killed directly by a player. Water shards, for example, can be obtained by fishing for fish and then putting them into a dispenser, which will cause them to become fish entities that will drop water shards. Remember like 10 minutes ago when I was questioning how easy that is? Yeah, buddy um shards so right click crystal throwing so if we get a water crystal we can get more i'm wondering if you get more raw water shards does this tell me how much i get it doesn't it just says low but i'm curious if it's more than a thousand because to make a water crystal takes a medium amount of water. So I don't think we can make like an infinite amount with this, right? It looks like it, it takes a medium amount of water to make a water crystal. And then if we throw it, um, in fairness, we might get a large shard, uh, which would give us also a low amount in the evaporator. So even if we got lucky with a, like, that doesn't seem like a net gain at all, right? But that's fair. Um, but if I made any crystal right now, that would give me a quest complete, and I'd at least get a little bit more of each one. Drenched steel. So in terms of getting started, am I ready to progress at this point? So elemental crystals, you want me to do that. So let's do that, right? So to do that, um, we're going to want container, container, pipe, pipe. And then we could have you draining. Isn't there like a, there we go. I think that means it's pulling out and going that way. So if I put the evaporator here, we have a lot of earth shards. Okay. I don't know if I want to put like a whole, I'm going to put one in there and see what happens. So that seems to be doing stuff and that seems to be getting stuff. And then if we put our infuser there, that's kind of cool. Are you done now? I believe so, yes. And now if I put an inert crystal here, right? Yes. If there's enough, which there may not be. I don't know how many of these crystal, like how many shards equal green crystal, but we're just gonna try it. Can I put two in at a time or does it only accept one at a time? 
totally does take two at a time. And I can definitely click it out of there if I so, you know, desire. And it won't consume it until it's okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Just me figuring out like what we need to do for the pack, right? Like I kind of know this mod because I played it a few times and it's a super fun, cool mod. Has it been updated for 120? I don't know that I've seen it. Uh, I should go check to see if that, if it has, because it's a fun mod. It's, it has some cool stuff. Hey, look, we're good. Nice. So is that like an even four? Did I use an even four of these? I think I did because this all looks empty and none of these have any elements in them. So I want to say it's exactly four shards to a crystal. And then it said I can throw this and I might get, you know, if I throw it, I might get something, but probably not enough, right? Good to know. But that is you being done. And that is also, if I'm not mistaken, these are two different quests, but maybe they're not. Oh, no, they're the same quest. Ha! Huh. I was hoping I got like a bunch of stuff but apparently not. Okay, cool. So, and then from here we can get drenched steel, we can get fire furnace. Um, at some point we can get a thing that turns, that makes lava for us, which is cool. I think it's shrines. Yeah, shrines will let us get free lava, well free-ish. Element holders, spells, all kinds of cool stuff to play with for sure. But I'm pretty sure the main thing we should be working towards is um okay springling dust Krish, blah, blah, blah. springling shards are uh amethyst infused into springling shards so we still haven't figured out where amethyst comes from but i assume that's coming up soon right uh so springling shards require element infuser one getting started which is done and it requires amethyst shard getting started Venture into the depths of the nether and test your skills in negotiation with the enigmatic piglin tribes to acquire a rare and covered, coveted amethyst shard. So that's our next major task. We have to piglin trade um, for amethyst shards. So I assume I need to be wearing gold armor, right? Isn't that like the deal with piglins? That is not how we make gold armor. Oh, you need to be plates. Okay, well in that case, that's not that big of a problem. So what I'm going to do is uh, make some gold boots. And then we have to figure out how to get to the nether. Which presumably is the standard way to get to the nether. I may have to make a bunch of lava. Um, so I can get obsidian. Because we only have two of those. Now we do have obsidian dust. But I don't think we can turn that... Yeah, we need we need nine of those? That's, that's not how that works. That's one to one, fam. No, no, no. Yeah, we need a we need a lot more obsidian than this. All right, so you go away, you go away, you go away. You can go away. You can get turned off. You get cleaned up. Um, I think I can just put this stuff away for now. But we definitely need more. I'll put you there still. You can go away, living wood, and then boots, right? So now piglins won't hate me, in theory. And uh, I just need more obsidian. Um, so is there like a cool way to get obsidian? I still need lava to do that. So that's not gonna help me too much. I still need lava to do that. That is far more expensive than just getting lava. Um, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad, actually. Because what I can do is get a bunch of magma. Yes, this is the way to get obsidian. This is it, friends. Okay, so you guys go in there. I'm going to smelt up some cobble real quick into stone. You off, you on, that should be cooking, okay? And then we can get magma blocks from any stone plus the fire essence, which I'm cooking up over there. And then this can be washed into obsidian. That's how you get obsidian in a very fun and profitable way. 
right? So you're halfway there. Boom. Smooth stone. Not really, but kinda. Kinda smooth stone. Regular stone. Awesome. This was the other sandwich I was looking at, by the way, but it needs cooked bacon, so I don't think that's as good. I think this is only better because you can do chicken palooza to get, like, tons of chicken very easily. That's why I went with that food source. Cool. Okay. So you guys should be close to done at this point. I was correct. Nice. And then you can do this, like that, and then you get washed with water. So all I gotta do is this, and this, and this, and that's obsidian for you. That's 48 obsidian. Bing, bang, boom. Easy peasy, nether boil. I like that. Where should I put them? Super good question. Don't have a great answer to it. Maybe, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, maybe... Mm, I want them to be, like, not far... Not, not... Yeah. Not too close to anything. I'll put them over by my, uh... And by the way, once we have another uh, platform stood up, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to set up another mob farm in there. Oh, I hate you guys so much. Meh, meh, meh. Wow, I got very lucky with that. That's the first time I've ever been able to kill one without having to chase it to the sides. It's eight hits, by the way, is what I've learned. See, look, they like... They're sneaky. I hate centipedes. Um, What I should do... Do I have any dirt? I have a little bit. Okay. So how about we do this? I'm going to build out another island. Um, we'll come back, I think, next episode because we're pretty close to wrapping up here, right? Yeah, definitely wrapping up point. So we'll wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. We'll have another portal. We'll pop into the nether. We'll see what that entails. Uh, and then uh, we will get, hopefully, amethyst shards in a not terrible way. Um, hopefully there's a better way to get them besides trading with piglins sooner than later. Uh, I, can, I can do the amethyst cluster thing. I think maybe once I get my first few, it will give me an amethyst cluster that will grow. That's what I'm going to hope for. Like this, right? If that would be cool if I get that sooner than later. Um, I don't know for sure, but we'll find out uh, next episode. For now, Delta, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time and uh, be ready for... I don't know if this is only going to be another island, but it'll, it'll be close. Um... It'll at the very least have another portal on it, and then who knows what else. Maybe there'll be other portals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. For now, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.